I mean, it just comes across. Like, this is, just makes me cringe. I apologise to the white community. Like, <laughs> the shit like that just makes me cringe. I don't know, man. I apologise to the white community. <laughs> like, what white person would give a shit about, like, stuff like that? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, what the f Yeah, she's got to be memeing. There's no way someone would earnestly state that. Here we go. Anti-white anti racism. I heard about this. About a year ago, on December 21, 2021 to January 2022, there were multiple chat logs spread of me committing anti-white racism. Oh, yeah. The thing is, it's like, I honestly don't, you know, I've said this so many times, I've covered this so many times now. I don't personally get upset or care about, like, anti-white racism or whatever, you know? I just find the hypocrisy astounding. Do you know what I mean? I, you know, I find the hypocrisy absolutely astounding. And it's just like, you know, why, why, just because of the way you think a certain social structure exists, it's okay to do it one way and not the other. And they need to, and they need to go to this like weird historical, like th uh, thought process. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, you don't, you don't need to do that. Like, just, just, you know, either say, well, yeah, I think it's okay in either case, or like, just don't do it. But don't try and play it both ways. It's kind of weird to me. So, about a year ago, the multiple chat logs were going to come out. I don't know, I've typed it in my offline chat because I was ignorant to its meaning and I thought it was inoffensive to poke fun at the fragility white people have for meaningless word salad terms some Twitter user compiled as a slur list. I thought wrongly it was fine to poke fun at it because I believe white people were privileged and did not face systemic racism and the discrimination from these slurs was just as bad, was just a bad jab like calling someone the R slur. Like just being mean, but you can shrug it off. But in still, I will never use these terms to refer to a white person. However, for the past year, there's been a whole lot of misinfo spread about what I've said. I never called for the genocide of white people. I did not call white people snow roaches or bleach demons. Wait. But it's, hang on, but she's put the own, her own logs there. She says it there, doesn't she? Or does she mean, like, she doesn't call people that directly? Hmm, that seems like a little bit of cope, if you ask me. Oh, she explains it. My bad, I didn't. Okay, I need to read it. The timestamps appear rearranged and cut out of context. It looked like I was calling someone a slur, Cracker and Snow Roach, but I was, but I was not. Okay, what's the context then? Now... Now, I have to bring this up again because there's so much context. At the time, there was this moderator that I had. His name was this word. Okay. They stepped down because they didn't like my take on the fact that I didn't think the C word was as offensive as the N word. And th that's basically the context of it. I've apologized for typing these terms in the chat uh, and anyone that has offended. Now, what is the C word? It's this word. Did I call anybody that? No. Did I ever call anybody this? No. And then the other one, the, uh, the snow R word, it comes from this, which came from an imager link of a, of a group of terms that were absurdist word salads. And I apologize for any, for, I apologize. Absurdist words, this is just cope. What does she mean absurdist word salads? That doesn't even make any sense. Like the list was probably, I'd imagine, just a list of like slurs for white people, right? Presumably, I guess that's what it was. As for typing this term, I have apologized many times this year. I've, I've talked about this 10 times. I have never called anybody this. The, and at the time, I did not know that the term roach has historical context, like contextual historical um, usage in describing like Turkish people. I never knew that. I thought these terms in here were all absurdist. Describe other, like it has a historical context of being used to describe other races. So I think my biggest mistake here was in fact not choosing a different word in this list to laugh at. I should have typed no purpose flower here instead. Oh, oh yeah, or I, maybe I should have like typed bleach demon. I 
Do you know what's so funny about this, right? You, if you did one list of slurs to use against black people, you'd only need one to cause any sort of outrage or controversy. You just need a single word on there and you'd be golden, you know? But they need to come up with all these fucking stupid ones here. Word salads, not meant to offend. So if people were offended by this, I am sorry. I am sorry for typing the term. I have never called any of, I have never called anybody this. I have also never called anybody the C word. So um, if you look at the, the logs that people are trying to bombard the VTubers with, all the log- But here's the thing, right? If you were to have a, like a big list of slurs of some minority and it had like X roaches in there, you wouldn't put that in your chat, would you? <laughs> like you did it because you thought it was okay because it's about white people. Like, what is this cope? Like, oh, I didn't call you. No, but you typed it out in your chat because you presumably thought it was funny or you liked the idea of like, so, or something like that, you know? So it's not about calling someone it or not. It's about, for me at least, the inconsistency with which you're willing to do it on these terms, but not, and you would like criticize others for doing it, you know? Yeah, but it's okay. I hate that. I just, I hate the fake edgy shit. I just, it's so, it's so fucking stupid. This fake edgy bullshit of, oh, I'm going to be edgy against a group. It's okay to be edgy against. It's like so cringe. Do you know what I mean? All of the timestamps are completely out of order. If you haven't noticed that. Now, that brings, that brings me to another point. It's not, I, I genuinely don't think that it's the offense of these terms, and even if they didn't know the context, I, I don't think people are trying to like bring this up as a point to show how offensive I am. It's kind of to get the VTuber <clears throat> to get the VTubers canceled over that. There is the extremist population or like the extremist subgroup in that community. It is a very small vocal minority, but they are people that are participating. Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, I I, I just I don't really care like if if so if it came out it's it's always the inconsistency and, and the fact that people will brutally criticize others for edgy shit but then won't own their own edgy shit that's the issue i mean i don't fucking care if someone calls me this that or the other like it was whatever to me you know but i just think it's funny how people are like super inconsistent on this and they've come up with this reasoning that invokes this historical analysis of racism to justify them just being shitty you know <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I rise up white people. I don't know about that. That's a bit. Uh, that's led to some dangerous, uh, some dangerous things. I don't. I don't know. I don't want. You know. I don't want to watch the whole thing. It's just. I, I mean, I don't really understand. She's covered it five months ago. Why is she doing this again? I guess maybe people are bringing it up or something. But there was more to the controversy than c word equals n word. It's about white fragility mentioned earlier. <laughs> I was answering someone's questions, what is the C word? And enumerating slurs from the screenshot of made up slurs that I thought sounded ridiculous. The most glaring line from these cut out context logs. See, the thing is, is like, I could easily see like myself wanting to do that with, um, you know, a slur that was for like some minority, right? But it's like, I would get absolutely roasted for that by the types of people that would like do, it's just, it's just crazy. Anyway, who cares? People are inconsistent. Fuck everyone. Let's just have a good time. What else did she say? The most glaring line from these cut out of context logs is definitely the last line where I said, I make fun of white people all the time. This is not a white people space. This was directly referencing the jokes I made about white people cuisine. <laughs> this is a new one. Oh, that was a joke. It was referencing some other, you have to watch my streams to get it. You have to watch my other streams to get it. Where I said something about overusage of cinnamon in their tea, drink, and bakeries. This is the joke. Oh, here we go. What's this? Every time I've ordered from Mr. Boba and Boba Time, it fucking sucks. That's what I call white people boba tea. Like, if I try it and it doesn't, the tea doesn't taste right, that's. That's exactly what I call like white people boba chains. It just doesn't taste right. It's wrong. It just taste the tea is like really weird, fruity, overly. I don't know how to describe it. Sorry, you can't make fun of. But it's an Asian thing. I think what she's saying is when it's like 
authentic, aka run by an Asian person. She likes it better. But when it's like a white, when when white, it's like what is it? When white people like take the cuisine and make it their own and do it themselves, and it's not the same. I think she's criticizing that, isn't she? I mean, maybe she gets to the jokes in a minute, but like that doesn't seem to be a joke. That seems to be an earnest expression of how she feels about it. But anyway, what is that? What it like? What is that? White people culture? I don't know. Is that their culture? Is just get taking something from another culture and then making it worse? Is that white culture? I don't. I don't really know how anybody would describe what white culture is, to be honest. When you take something and make it worse. That's why I say I don't like white people tea. Um, I'm making okay, this space and safe for you. Sorry. I don't know how else to describe it. I, I don't know how else. They call dumplings pot stickers. Um, Asians eating dumplings? Could you stop being so Asian, please? Could you keep your Asian at home? I don't know if you guys saw that. What does that mean? I don't know. Here, I just... Wait, okay, I'm curious, like, what what exactly would be, say, what, like, what white people eat on that day? I can understand if you're, like, I don't know, Irish or something, you're like, oh, Irish people eat blah, blah, blah. What do white people eat? What is... Okay, that sounds bad, okay, but just be charitable to her. That sounds like she's saying Irish people aren't racist. I think what she's saying is, ethnicity-wise, you can understand what, like, an Irish person eats. Okay, I don't think she's saying that Irish people are. <laughs> Jesus Christ. She's like a loose cannon. She's like a fucking loose cannon. <laughs> Welcome to Chud Nation. <laughs> kid not Pepega, kid not Pepega, kid not Pepega. Thank you very much for the uh, for the sub. Kid, okay, hope you're well. I mean, you know, I think the problem is, is there isn't like, obviously, it's just true. There isn't a white person food because, you know, um, it's too, it's too varied. There is no generic one white culture it's spread across different countries and different ethnicities. Whereas I think like, say like black people in America, it was like a lot more like centered in the culture of what they, the kind of foods that they ate. And then it kind of went from there, you know? Um, I think it is a lot more country based. I mean, I suppose it probably is amongst minorities too. If you look at say Indian food, you know, Chinese food and, and um like China like Asian food. Chinese food is different to fucking Indian food and so on and so forth. And yeah, exactly. Like if you look so you, exactly you got Spanish whites, Italian whites, American whites, Australian whites, and the cuisine is very different despite, you know, Wait, hang on a minute. You got Italians in there. Hang on a second. I'm not sure if Italians are white. Wait a minute. <laughs> hang on a fucking minute. I don't know. Wait a second. When do we fucking open the doors to the Italianos? Hang on a minute. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what exactly is like white people culture food? I don't fuck it. I don't know. Digital style. Louisiana is his own food, but isn't but isn't Louisiana food? Is that not rooted in like the food that black people would have eaten? Because like there's a lot of slavery and shit around those parts. I'm of I'm I don't know for sure, but I'm just I'm guessing based on what well, don't they eat like crocodile and shit? I don't fucking. I don't know. Yeah, so the thing is, like, she said, I think she said something like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm Korean, so I'm gonna go home and eat dumplings or something. All right, thank you. But then, if you're, if you're, like, I don't know, like, if you're, like, Irish or Italian, you could be like, oh, well, I'm gonna go home and eat spaghetti. It's French-inspired. No, but then, but then there's, but the, the thing is, it's, but there's also a black influence, right? That's, like, where soul food comes from, isn't it? 
Or am I thinking of Creole? I don't, okay. Listen, I don't fucking know all the different races of him shit, okay? I don't fucking know. Because I'm Italian or whatever. But like, if you say, I'm, a, I'm, Creole. Like, I'm yeah, white, yeah, yeah. so I'm going to go home and eat. Like, not, so that's not, is that slaves or not? Was that from the slaves? Did the slaves bring that about or what? Thank. What? My sister's ass? Oh, hell yeah. So yeah, please keep your Asian at home. There's such a thing as French cuisine and Italian cuisine. Yeah, but you would say, well, if I'm French, I'm gonna go home and eat this French cuisine. She's right about this, I think, to be so fair. So the woman that was complaining wasn't Asian. She was offended on behalf of Asian. I think, I think she's right about this. You know, she said it in a way that was bad, but she's correct that there isn't a white food. It is based on, you know, French cuisine or something like that, right? Asians. I'm pretty sure the person that complained was white. Who, I, I can't it... imagine who gets offended at a news anchor going like, I'm... No, that's retarded. Okay, well, t okay, give me a white dish. What is a dish that is a white food? I'm gonna go home and eat dumplings for New Year's because I'm Korean. She is saying it was offensive because she wasn't considered a white food. Poutine's before. Canadian. Yeah, pretty much. That's what I'm... Meatloaf isn't a white food. That's America. We don't eat meatloaf in the UK. Confused about... Like, I, I don't know what exactly white culture is. Whatever. Just saying Asian culture is in all Asian... See, look, it's funny, isn't it? Sunwater is doing the classic white nationalist meme. What well, I'm talking about, name a white dish. And what is he link me? European cuisine. Classic white nationalist retardation. Equivocating white with European. Nice meme. Good one. Asian culture in also not monoculture. When you say Asian culture or white culture, you always speak in terms of America. I have no idea what you're saying, but okay, cool. Nice uh, sentence. Chatter just whispered you the funniest shit. What is this? Casual NA kid with a white culture. I bet your great grandfather's Mexican and now you claim. Okay, Spaniard, I'm not saying that Europeans aren't white. I'm saying that what he's doing is pointing to this sort of sense of like European equals white or white equals European. And that's not what it, that's not true. The entirety of you are mainly white skin to have more culture than your entire shitty content. DJ and Loser, Daft thinks you're a snow roach, by the way. I don't know, understand why you, why someone will get so offended to the point of t whispering to someone else in the chat. And like, why are they even here? But besides that, like, they, they explained it pretty well. Um, what exactly is white culture? Because if you're in the EU, you could say like, oh, British culture or like, I don't know, French culture or whatever. But what? German, yeah, like German culture, German cuisine, French cuisine. I don't think she's like that like far that. off the mark, really. She's saying but it in a bit of a weird not, way at times, but. That's not white culture. It's because white culture isn't a thing. Yeah, that's why it's like, I, I feel like when you make fun of it, when you say stuff like, oh, they use, their tea sucks. Like their boba shops are terrible. It's not that serious. Is she? I mean, I, what she said there is is not that bad. Like she's, I mean, I think it's probably true, isn't it? Uh, you know, I mean, I mean, she's probably being a bit like um, overstating it. Because there's probably some restaurants that are run by white chefs that do foreign cuisine, and it's perfectly fine. But I think you know, in terms of saying that there is, I mean, there is no white dish. There isn't. There's no such thing as like a white food. It's based very much on, you know, areas or a country or something like that. Asia is more diverse than Europe. You're fucking retarded. What do you call? What planet are you on? Anyway, um, I don't really have a problem with what she said there. I mean, if it, the thing is, though, is like saying it like references this stream she did. I don't know, man. That comes across as a bit disingenuous to me. But yeah. I make fun of white people all the time. This is not a white people's space. I mean, you know, I think you can't really be surprised that people get upset by comments like that, you know? But yeah. Anyway, where some overuse of cinnamon and tea drinks bakeries, the sarcasm was lost with the log singled out with no reference to the stream that day. Other logs about cinnamon. Okay. 
Okay. Well, that, that Dida, that's that's the question I've got. Like, why did she bring it up again? I mean, it just comes across. Like, this is, just makes me cringe. I apologise to the white community. Like, <laughs> the shit like that just makes me cringe. I don't know, man. <laughs> I apologise to the white community. <laughs> like, what white person would give a shit about, like, stuff like that? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah, she's got to be memeing. There's no way someone would earnestly state that. <laughs> My deepest condolences to the Caucasian delegation. How inoffensive I, I thought my friends of making fun of white people cuisine were. In conclusion, I'm sorry for the hurt I've caused and people I've disappointed. I was ignorant to the meaning of racism and what I thought were lighthearted words were deeply hurtful and discriminatory when I'm not using, it, using that kind of language. See, the thing is, I think that's a meme. But then when I look at this bit, I'm like, well, maybe she's serious? I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to tell. God, it's like it's like it's like when a groiper it's like when a groiper speaks. It's difficult to tell if they're being serious or not because it's dripping and in, in laced in irony. I think black culture is all yeah. Well, the thing is, is like if you go to Africa, there's going to be variations between the different countries of Africa, um, you know, of of cuisine and and all sorts of stuff. Whereas obviously, like black culture in America is different from that once again because it's got like an Americanized like flavor to it, if you like, you know. Um, yeah, exactly. It's like very different to like what you'd see in, in Africa versus like what, down to like what you'd see in the individual countries, you know? Um, because then you've, you've also got other areas around America, like the Caribbean and stuff like that, which have got a different culture entirely. Do you know what I mean? To like what you'd see in Africa. So it's all, you know, very different, but yeah. <clears throat> Other notes, in some posts are references to my old moderator whom stepped down because of this fiasco and it was in mutual agreement, but they later banned from my community for saying he was only attracted to East Asians. What? <laughs> what? What is this? What is this fresh hell? Like how gay people are born gay and having no choice to who they're attracted to. Also wanted to point out when I was mistakenly banned for 33 minutes around November 22nd, 2022, it was likely a mass report on a nudity sex scene from the game Immortality. It was not the slurs or anti-white racism as people believed. I assume it was related to a certain VTuber community spreading these logs in terms of cancel collabs and cause a scene. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know the history of race in the UK. Would you consider UK black people more similar to a black American or someone from Africa, assuming they're born in the UK and not an immigrant? Um, I don't know if I, I don't know if it's a weird comparison to make. Like they're, they're uniquely like, I mean, even like a, like a black person in England and a black person in Scotland would be different. It's like, if you go up to, so I'm, I grew up obviously where I grew up in, in England and the, and the areas that I'm from, you'd have like, immigrants from say India right and they would speak with an accent but it would be an Indian accent that like I would recognize but they spoke English but if you go up to like say Scotland or like Wales right they speak with an Indian accent but with an influence of Scot Scottish or an influence of Welsh so it even is like compartmentalized to the different composing countries of the United Kingdom it's really it's really weird and culturally, culturally, that culturally, if you're if you're an Indian person that grew up in, say, Scotland, you're going to be culturally different from an Indian person that grew up in England. You know, this is where obviously, you know, the area that you live in has a massive like cultural influence on you beyond your race. That obviously race realists don't agree with, but it's just it's just true. It's just you know that's my experience at least, and I think you know. If you look at like say Indian people that end up in America, they're going to be different once again. So. I think that if you, I think that they're just different, different people completely. I don't think there's any comparison to anyone else really, you know, but like, I can tell you for sure that my interactions with like black people in the UK were very different to my interactions with black people in America. Although admittedly, uh, quite a few of the black people that I met 
whilst there, not completely, but quite a few of them were like quite, a, you know, well, we saw this video evidence. Let's, let's put it that way. Let's put it that way. Let's put it that way. Anyway. The conclu I mean, we'll, we'll finish reading. I'll give my conclusion, I guess, but. It was offered the service of anti-white racism people believed. I assume it was related to a certain VTuber community spreading these logs in terms of council collabs across the scene. I've also been brigading my own posts on LSF since early 2021 and no longer get my clips posted there since 2021, 2022 with the help of certain programs. TLDR, tried try talking back to homeless skits on the street instead of ignoring as all Americans do. Well, he had a car, so I thought he needed to be, you know, he like, wasn't on the street. It was more so the person in the car. <laughs> if you've been watching my streams, you'll know I've addressed this dozens of times already, but I think it will be good to leave this post up for clarification for anyone misled on what happened, since some people seem to be hell-bent on certain forums and spreading that I hate all white people and want them to die or something. Hmm. I mean, in conclusion, I think that she's trying to like downplay some of the stuff that she said, which was, you know, just racist. I mean, listen, I think racism is based personally. Um, but however, I just think that if you're going to complain about one type, you've got to kind of, you know. Oh, yeah, the Asman clip. Let's see what Asman girl's got to say. Yeah, just own your shit, you know? If you want to, if you, I, I don't have a problem with edgy jokes that, or whatever. Like, if you want to make edgy jokes about white people, I'm I'm all for it. But it's the fact that, you know, people will accept edgy jokes about white people, but then recall in horror as you go to make an edgy joke about someone that isn't white. And then, you know, when you go to sort of query it, it's like, well, there's historical precedent. It's like, I'm not well, bringing about the, the fucking, you know, the arc of history jacket, and making some jacket, stupid meme jacket. today. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's not what's happening here, is it? You know, like, sure, if we want to talk about policy or something, then yeah, we could maybe have that discussion. But in the purposes of a meme or a joke, it's just not not on a level, you know? That being said, you know, I don't have a problem with accepting that the way words are used are important and some words do just carry more weight, more social weight than others. Um, and I'm happy to, to kind of accept that, but... The fact that people make out like you doing this calculation. Oh, well, there's historical precedent. And then there's the fact there was slavery and da -da. no one fucking thinks like that. You know, when they're, when they're making memes or telling jokes or, you know, generally speaking. Go with the Frogan shit. I don't know what that is. Link it. I'll watch this. Link me the Frogan stuff and I'll check it out. Obviously. If they had made these jokes about black people, they would never be getting unbanned. If they had made these jokes about Asians or Mexicans I mean, yeah, or something true, like that, true. they would never be getting unbound. Like, I understand that, you know, jokes are not racism, but, like, that's not really true whenever every other form of joke would be considered ban bannable. Like, come on. Don't use slurs, targeting immutable characteristics, simple as. Yeah. That's a bad thing, though, isn't it? Yeah, I don't agree with that. I don't like that. I don't like being, like... I, again, I don't really talk about this because it's like, who cares? But, like, growing up, uh, you know, I was a minority. Uh, in my high school, it was, like, 70%, like, Hispanic and, like, 10% black. And I, I don't know what the rest of the math is, but, like, you know, white people were, like, a, you know... <laughs> like, teen levels of, like, a uh, representation. People would all the time refer to me as white boy. And you know what? If I saw those people today, I would give them a hug because I miss them. Life is complicated. It's not as simple as every single time that you, uh, you know, you say something like this or you categorize somebody like that, you're always a bad person. Uh, the way kids act is different. Uh, obviously, I've been categorized that way. Is, was it kind of odd? Like, I don't know, a little bit. But I think it's very easy anyway, we to get the gist. be... I mean, I don't... I, you know, I, to me, the inconsistency is the only thing that bothers me. I don't really care about anti-white racism personally. It doesn't really bother me. The only thing that I... Well, it doesn't bother me. I guess the only thing I do sort of think, like, oh, hang on a minute, that's a bit fucking spicy, isn't it? Is, uh, you know, when they invoke some sort of, like, what was it? There was, like, something to do with maggots or roaches and shit. 
I feel like the invocation of these kind of tropes of like making out to be vermin or something, that's always a little bit of an odd one for me. And it, it, it has, a, you know, obviously context is important, but it can certainly have the tinge of being a bit more, a bit more serious. Like some people genuinely just fucking despise white people. You know, they just fucking despise white people and they'll exhibit that through jokes. But like, they'll tend to lean, le you know, lean towards ones which kind of come across as more serious, you know? Chud when he but, invites yeah. his Indian friend. But anyway, as we know, racism is based.